Hello, my name is Ajman Marian. Keep watching Race of Love. Bye. Hey guys, yes, once again, welcome to Race of Love. And we are here to have fun and at the same time learn more about relationship. This channel is purposely for the young people out there. So if you know you are a youth or you know any young person out there, um, share this channel with them. So if this is your first time coming on this channel, please I'll plead with you to subscribe and also click on the bell button. We're on the streets asking some few questions on what people think about relationship and social media. There are a lot of people out there in relationship, they end up putting their relationship on social media. So today we are hitting the street to ask some few people what they think about relationship and social media. The question for the day is, do you think couples should promote their relationship on social media? Yes or no? And if you are watching, kindly comment on the uh, comment section below and also tell us what you think. Your comments might help and educate someone. Let's see how it goes and see what people have to say. Still up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hello. Hello. Uh, my name is Nia. What's your name? I'm Cornelius. Okay. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? I'm good. What about you? I'm fine. I'm fine. Good to have you on my channel. Thank you. My pleasure. All right. So, what is your name? My name is And what do you do? I'm a student. You're a student. Which school? University for Development Studies. Hey, shout out to uh, UDS, eh? Yeah. Uh, shout out to those guys. And then don't forget to subscribe to our channel. I'll be hitting on your campus very soon, okay? Hi. Uh, hello. How are you? I'm good. Charlie, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Okay, so, what's your name? My name is Delali. You can call me Drizzle. Okay. What do you do? Pardon? What do you do? Oh, I'm a student. Hello. Hello. What's your name? I'm Mary. Okay, so, the question we're asking today on Streets Interview, um, do you think people who are in relationship to advertise their relationship on social media? Oh, okay. So, basically... I would say it's, it's not advisable to actually advertise your relationship on social media. Question of the day. Do you think um, people who are in a relationship should promote their relationship on social media? No. Will you promote your relationship on social media? Uh, for me to be a no. So the question is, um, if you're in a relationship, will you showcase your relationship on social media? Oh, no, because it's a bad thing. The reason being that I'm um, looking at relationship lately, the modern relationship we talk of, people try as much as possible just to um, portray they are happy. Okay. And it doesn't, it doesn't really show um, um, how much they feel. I don't know how to put it, but mm -hmm. it, it doesn't, it's not a reflection of how, how they feel in the relationship. As so I was were, saying, I was trying to cite a relation, um, an example okay. that you will be in a relationship and someone will try as much as possible to show they are happy. They've moved on and they are happy on their own. They will try to post pictures and how they are having fun. But I wouldn't actually be um, um, a true reflection of how they feel. Okay. Perhaps they might be showing the other side of their relationship. It wouldn't actually be a reflection of what they are going through. Why no? Because it's like publicing, uh, publicizing your relationship to the world, which is kind of no good because if there's a problem, the whole world might see it. And like, I don't know, I just don't second something like that. Everything like, <laughs> it's like you're making the whole world aware. Well, fine, sometimes you should, definitely, because when you're getting married, the whole world will know that you're married and all. But mm -hmm. when you're in a relationship, it's not like you're married or something, right? Okay. And then showing it to the public, mm -mm. Why no? Uh, because I feel some part of your relationship should be personal. So then, in as much as social new, uh, media is the new age, uh, we are allowed to post certain stuff, but then I think there should be a limit to the amount of uh, information we give out to people pertaining to our relationships. So what do you mean by private? Um, because there are certain things that happen in relationships, there are certain aspects that will cause you to sometimes sort of drift a little apart uh, but then you always posting on social media you sort of uh, come and get some kind of addicted following mm -hmm. so then they're always expecting to see your partner or see you uh, reveal that side of your life okay. and it makes them feel like they're a part of your life so then uh, you not posting for a little while mm -hmm. sort of give people the uh, opportunity 
to feel like they, they own part of your life, so then they want to ask you questions mm -hmm. pertaining to your relationship, which is, shouldn't be so. Sa, yeah. why no and why is it a bad thing? Because I, I can see that a relationship, you should have your privacy, not putting your relationship on, I mean, social media. It wouldn't help. It's only going to destroy it. Yeah. So, will you be offended if your beloved don't post to you on social media? I wouldn't be offended, but as for me, I would not accept that. Yeah. So, so you you are against posting your picture and also, let's say, about your partner on social media for everybody to see the person? Yeah, and I'll justify that by saying, let's say I'm in this first relationship. It doesn't go well. I move to another relationship, it doesn't go well. I enter into about 15 relationships and I'll have to post everyone yeah, online. And maybe, lo and behold, I come to meet this guy and he knows a little about me. Mm -hmm. Perhaps he might have seen me going out with all those people and probably I might have, have done something with them. Yeah, so I would advise keeping your relationship a bit discreet, as, as worth it, than actually advertising it. Okay. So will you post to your beloved on social media? No. <laughs> Won't he be offended? Well, it would depend. Mm -hmm. We would have to discuss about it. So if he's that kind of person, like someone who likes to publicize their relationship on social media, fine. But then that one cry. <laughs> no <laughs> lie. Okay, so what would you like to post on social media about your relationship? About my relationship? Nothing. Like I wouldn't like to tell people like the word about my... No, nothing. Wouldn't you share your experience about your relationship on social media? Mm -mm. It depends. Unless I'm like advising someone or motivating someone, but then to like, no. No. So no for you? Yes, no. Okay, so if you are not um, posting or letting people know about it, won't the other partner feel like, mm, you are hiding me, you don't want people to see her, so you can have opportunities for other Oh, I'm not saying you shouldn't post at all. Okay. Uh, on bad days, you can post mm -hmm. your girlfriend. On um, special occasions, you can post there. But then I, I don't think sh uh, social media should be the basis okay. uh, for which your partner should know that you love her or him or her or not. No. Because uh, you guys are always together or you guys communicate on the regular. So then the person should feel that kind of love. Social media shouldn't be the hallmark or the basis for that. All right, interesting. Will you will you showcase or advertise your beloved on social media? Oh, once in a while. Once in a while. Once in a while. It's not something on the regular. What would you like to post about your relationship on social media? Oh, as to what I'll post... Um, I don't think it's a specific stuff. Maybe it could be a special moment we are sharing together. Maybe it could just be a normal time we are spending together. But then as to a specific stuff, it depends on how, the mood and how you are feeling at that moment. Okay. What would you like to post about your relationship on social media? Mm, nothing actually. Unless I'm officially married or something. Before I post something. Oh, okay. Yeah. When you are married? Yeah. Or in the course of the marriage too, you still... No, let's say um, after the wedding, then maybe I can post it because the guy is now mine. Mm -hmm. Something which is not mine, I can at, at least showcase it to social media or something. But since you are dating, you are in relationship with him, mm -hmm. he's currently yours. Oh, yeah, so but he's, he's not totally mine. He's not hooked to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't have any vow between us. So he marries you? Yeah, he marries me, then we can maybe send it. Okay, so when should we expect your wedding so that we'll be there to interview you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but um, let's see if God permits. Soon. I know soon can be like 10 years. So do you have any um, tip or advice for people who are in, in a relationship? Okay, so my advice out there is to, to couple out there, couple in quotes out there is... Um, it will be best you keep your relationship low key, as we know, and rather involve more of um, um, godly stuff and that's like try as much as possible to sustain it with um, Christ. And I'm sure it will work out. I've, I've seen people actually giving testimonies of their relationship working out in Christ. So right. I think. Thank you so much for sharing your view with us. Welcome, sir. Right. Okay, so uh, what's your advice to young people? people like you out there watching 
that are in a relationship, what will you tell them? No, I would tell them not to. Well, if they want to, fine, it's their choice. But then, personally, I would advise them not to cause. It's like, you're inviting more people into your relationship, which is not really good. So, yeah, I wouldn't advise them. So, do you have any message for people like your colleagues who are in a relationship out there? Any message? <laughs> Okay, so my message for them is if you want to publicize your relationship, fine, but if not, don't do it. Like, don't let anyone force you to. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, thank you. Uh, <laughs> what's your advice to people like your colleagues out there dating? General advice. General advice. Okay, when it comes to social media and relationships, um, most of the girls nowadays uh, kind of feel when their boys are not posting them on social media, um, um, it means they are hiding them or they are having other relationships aside that. But then I feel social media shouldn't be a basis for determining how much your partner loves you. Mm -hmm. Because whenever you're with a person, you should be able to uh, know the person well enough uh, to know how the person feels about you. Uh, because... Um, there's something called emotional intelligence or emotional intelligence. So you being with your partner, the way your partner treats you, the little things he or she does, mm -hmm. should be enough to let you know how much the person loves you. If the, per the person is pretending, you know. Mm -hmm. But then once you know, guys, you can post your girls on social media just to make them feel okay or good. Okay, just to make them pleasing a little, you know, accepting that. I get it. All right, thank you, Lamem Gang. Oh no. <laughs> anyway, so what's your advice for some of your colleagues dating out there? General advice on relationship. Oh, okay. The general advice is it is better to uh, date a guy secretly to the time he marries you before you showcase it to the world or something because that time he's yours and you can have him for yourself. Even if you showcase it, no one can collect him away from you. Or uh, nothing can be done about it. Okay. So secretly, won't he think mm, you don't want people to see because there's you have other things to do or other people are in the pipeline or something? Oh no, because um, it's normal. Like we sometimes we, we we move we move along since we are dating. We'll be moving around and we'll be going out. So he knows that. I'm his, so why would he bother about that? All right, thank you for your contribution. No problem, thank you too. All right, guys, so that brings us to the end of the street interview. Actually, it was so tedious, very tiring. Um, for over six hours, I've gotten only one person to talk. It looked like a lot of people were running away because they thought we'll be laughing at them or something because of those kind of videos. And we had to continue the next day to get the people to talk to. So thank you so much for watching. And, and if you have anything to say about this video, just comment in the comment section below and also tell us your view on this topic. I know a lot of people are saying no. Yes, some people will also say no because, not because of privacy, but because they don't want other people to know their business because maybe their acquaintances are a lot, you know, I didn't really understand what I'm trying to say. So please don't forget to subscribe and share this video to some of your friends because this channel is a channel where we have fun and at the same time we learn about relationship in the godly world. We have so much coming up so just stay tuned, subscribe, like, share and then wait for better things.